Hello everyone! In this video, I will be running you through a quick demo of how to use the KDM web app. If you don't have an account with us, just go to our website and press get started. Here, you'll just fill in all of the information boxes. We ask for your Discord because that's where we deliver automatic notifications once your generation is done. If you already have an account with us, just sign in. Here on the homepage, you can see your recently created assets, look over our documentation, join our Discord, and watch a demo video on how to use our app. To get started with your 3D model generations, head over to the Create page and upload anywhere from one up to six images of the object you want to model. Keep in mind our input guidelines, which are detailed in our documentation. If you require your model to be highly detailed, please make sure to check the high detail box, which automatically increases the upper limit poly count. If you require a different poly count, you can always change the upper limit by typing into the text box. Finally, if you need your model to be perfectly symmetrical, make sure to check the mirrored box. This isn't the case with our sample image, so I'll clear the selection and go ahead creating my 3D model by clicking on generate. This pop-up means that my model is processing and you can always input another image if you want to get a few generations going at the same time. Once your model is created, it will appear in your homepage under recently created assets, as well as in your assets library. Here, you'll be able to scroll through all of your created models. To check your model, just click on it. Here, you can check the model and the input image you used, as well as the poly count it was created with. You can also see any related generations and rate your 3D model. If you go on full screen mode, you can access more tools. Here, you can compare your image with the input side by side. You can ask for an iteration by describing the changes you would like to have done on your model and even draw on the image to highlight the change. You can view the wireframe of the model and check the topology. Additionally, you can color your model by selecting the different areas and choosing a color. Finally, when you're ready, you can download your 3D asset in your preferred format, OBJ, FBX, GLB or GLTF. And if you have colored it, don't forget to include MTL. This is all you need to know to get started modeling with KDIM. Thanks for watching and happy modeling.